In this video, we are going to see two scenarios. Number one, what to check in case the client push installation fails, which logs to review so that we can troubleshoot and get client installed successfully. Second scenario, where you are installing the client manually and client is successfully installed. However, we are not seeing all the action cycles in the configuration manager properties, which logs to review so that we can troubleshoot and fix this issue. So before moving forward, if you are new to this particular channel or yet to subscribe, then please click subscribe so that you get more updates related to MECM. This is your host Yagnesh Malavia welcoming you on this particular channel. So let's take a first scenario with the client post installation. For that, we will go to Config Manager Console, Asset and Compliance, Devices, and we'll pick one device that is Domain, right click, Install Client. So it gives few of the checklist that the site server computer client post installation account is a member of local admin group. Then the site server can resolve computer name by admin dollar. Then firewall rules are properly set and the MP is operational. So we'll do a next. These are the specification of client post installation, whether you want to install from a specific site or always install the client software or allow the client software to be installed on the controller. So I will just press next and over here this is a summary i will click next and close so the client should install in the domain for that we will review the logs in the ccm console itself which is logs in that ccm logs so i've already opened the ccm logs and let's see this is the end request domain and over here we see attempting to connect to administrative share domain admin dollar using machine account however it is failing now if we go to run and enter the same machine double slash domain slash admin dollar it is going to connect however through the console it is failing the primary reason is that it's not having enough privilege we need to configure one of the setting if we go to administration tab in that sites and here on the particular site we need to do a right click client installation setting client post installation so in the accounts client post installation account is not set up so we need to add an account and this account need to have an admin privilege on the given client computer so in our case the client computer that we are looking for is a domain so let's add new account over here where I will enter domain lab slash MECM admin browse and we can verify it so let's do a verify and we'll just do this domain dollar slash admin dollar let's test the collection the network pass was not found so it's domain slash admin dollar the connection was successfully verified yep okay so now particular account is able to communicate successfully now i will press ok again i will go to asset and compliance and we can do the right click install client but before that i will just log into the domain to showcase you what will happen once we install the client so on this particular machine i will go to c colon windows and right now we are not seeing any ccm setup file so the first step that will happen is if i go and do a right click on the domain and install client it is going to copy the client software the ccm setup software will be copied from the server to domain that is a given client computer so in this c colon windows ccm setup will be copied so i will do next over here next and next and close we will review the logs so now the logs are updated if we scroll up here we are seeing attempting to connect to administrative share it's able to connect the best shot account has succeeded in first time 
However, here it says unable to connect to WMI root CCM on remote machine domain lab error this particular error code. So let's see what does that error mean. Invalid namespace. So there's some WMI issue. Let's do again. Right click install client next and and allow the client post to be installed on domain controller. Let's give a takeover here next and next close let us monitor the logs yeah it is moving forward now it is copying the files sql and program files it's copying let's go to domain now you see this particular ccm setup folder is copied so this is the first thing it will copy the files to C colon Windows system setup and then it will install. So now as you see this particular files are getting loaded. If I open the logs system setup is exiting with written code zero. So whenever this installation happens if we review the task manager we will see CCM setup service being in a running state but that is only present till when the CCM client is getting installed. Once the SSM client is installed, that particular service will not be visible. Instead of that, we will see CCM exec service that is SMS agent host. Yeah, CCM exec service, SMS agent host, which is running. Now over here, if I go and check on the asset and compliance devices, I will just go and refresh the devices is giving a question mark because still the configuration is in progress so if i go to domain i will go to c colon windows and here those two folders also created ccm and ccm cache earlier they were not present but when we installed this is created so c colon windows ccm in that if we go to logs we will see logs file getting created so the communication is in progress as the files are getting installed other thing we can check is we go to control panel in that configuration manager we will see assign management point that is mecm.lab.com client certificate self-signed then co-management is disabled site code version GUID all this information we are able to see it and we are seeing multiple action cycles that are present if I go to MCM lab I will just click on other options and again I come back to the devices now we are seeing a green tick mark because client communication is successfully established so we fixed two issues one because of lack of rights we were not able to install that we were able to monitor in the CCM logs on the config manager console and second which is even though rights are present but setting the incorrect option we saw this particular error which is invalid namespace in the WMI so 0x800 4100e so by setting the right option while installing the client the client installed successfully so this is the first scenario let us take another scenario where we are looking to install clients manually so I will log into the another machine which is Windows 10 device I will go to command prompt and check the host name yes it's win 10 device over here I will uninstall so I will go to CD Windows CCM setup folder and over here I will use parameter system setup slash uninstall this will uninstall a CCM client so I will go to C colon Windows CCM setup folder and in that I will check logs So we can review the log file ccm setup.log. If we go at the bottom, it says ccm setup is exiting with written code zero. That means that uninstallation is successful. Also, we can go to C drive windows and over here inside the ccm setup, the setup files are deleted as well as ccm caches deleted in ccm logs. The rest logs are deleted. 
as the uninstallation has happened. Now, as we have uninstalled the client, the source file from which it was installed, it is also deleted. So the first thing is that we need to get the source file. By default, we can get the source file from the config manager. We can go to the drive of config manager that is C dollar program files and in that Microsoft configuration manager. Over here, we have a client folder where the set of file is present. So I can copy this particular client folder and in this particular machine on a Windows 10, I can just paste it. So now we have the source file. I will go to command prompt and I have placed the source file in the C drive. So I will go over here. I've logged in through the admin mode in the command prompt. Now I will use CCM setup. So when I run the CCM setup, it is going to install it. So this particular thing will take a while. We will monitor the logs as it progresses. So over here, I will go to CD Windows CCM setup folder inside that logs. We are seeing the logs being updated with the recent timestamp and the files that were deleted are also present because it's getting the data when we are running the CCM setup. So it's still installation is in progress as we see and right now we are saying system setup is exiting with written code zero so the client is successfully installed over here we will see ccm exec sms agent host is running system setup service task is completed now we can go to control panel and in the configuration manager in client properties we are seeing only few components present as well as in the action cycle only two action cycles are present so let's see what is the status in the console i will go to mecm and this is a win 10 machine there is a cross mark so the client is not yet configured it was showing active the reason earlier the client was present so let's check couple of log files which plays very important role over here i will go to c colon windows and inside that ccm in this logs and one of the log file which plays important role is client id manager startup this particular log file gives the information whether our client ssm client is getting registered or not so over here we see the error failed to refresh site code error code is this so let us open the same in cm trace and we can use error lookup first i will copy this particular error it's catastrophic failure and it's unable to get the site code let's see another log file which is location services i will open through cm trace inside this we are saying no location reply received from mecm lab currently ad site of machine is default for site name so the communication is not getting established between the configuration manager mecm server and windows 10 device it's going to wait for 298 seconds and again it's going to retry so over here the reason for this particular machine not getting the successful communication because this particular device is not in a right boundary i have purposely added this device in a different ip address so if i go into the msm console and go to administration boundaries currently if you see the IP address range is 10.0.0.1 to 10.0.0.10 and if I go to the Win10 device and I do an IP config, it's 10.0.0.12. So the reason that the communication is not getting established. So I will go to MECM console. I will set the boundary as 10.0.0.100. I will press apply and OK. And again, I will go back to Windows 10 device. I'm not going to take any action because it's going to retry. So it's going to retry in few minutes. So I will just wait for this. So this observation is very important. 
because in the real time scenario ss have built the devices and the client is installed but still the communication is not established they may reach to us stating that we are seeing only two action cycles or not all the information is populated in the config manager there is something problem with the sscm client so reviewing this thing will really help us to make sure that the client is communicating properly so a couple of log files client id manager startup and location services so now as you see automatically the log is getting updated because the communication is established successfully now if i go to cd windows ccm logs and i can see more logs being updated let's open the configuration manager i will close this go to run and then if i see client properties is populated with more data as well as in the action cycle so now let's see by going into the msm console in this asset and compliance and devices so we are seeing a green tick and we are seeing a recent data of policy request heartbeat hardware scan so the communication is successful by doing that particular modification so this are the couple of important scenarios that we understood so that's the learning that i am sharing if you feel that the content that i am sharing is good you are liking the content then please like and comment because your likes your comments are really encouraging me to come up with more knowledge videos do subscribe this channel so that you get more updates related to mecm with this this is yagnesh malavia thanking you for watching this video